Hey guys, um, this is Julia again. I uh, wanted to um, update you guys on uh, Willow, who is the horse that, or the Mustang, should I say, that captured um, BLM Mustang. She has her, her uh, little brand there. Um, that she, you know, she, we got her from the SPCA in Monterey. Um, she's so reactive, or she has been, that um, we've been working with her slowly. Uh, and we are, right now, for the past uh, three, four weeks, we've actually, or I personally have been um, working on her back feet and, and her fronts, but um, we've got the, the front now. We are, um, you're working on the back so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do her front feet and then I'm going to um, show you what we've been doing with her back feet so um, I like to hold on to the rope with horses that are reactive because you know then I have feel like I don't want them sort of you know pulling around or pulling back or whatever and then I can also tilt their head just a little towards me if I need to and that way you know any kicking that they might do um, I can move their head and then disengage their hindquarters at the same time. So, um, so Willow, we're gonna we're gonna jump her. We have to do it with her now, of course. Or we'll put her on the back. She doesn't actually like that. She normally shakes her head, but I just ignore her. So, um, so this is the thing she used to do. We back up every time we went close to her. Uh, and now um, she's not doing it as much, although she just did it there. But um, but definitely she won't um, she definitely stop that behaviour. Come on. Ugh. Oh, not with the glasses. Oh well. So you can see we got the front one. She has big, big. <laughs> she gets a lot of rocks in here. Put it that way. So. Um, I did get a big rock out of it there. Um, they're actually all getting, uh, they're actually all getting trimmed on, um, would you believe the 4th of July because my farrier has, um, good girl, because my farrier has, uh, he injured his hand. So they've gone a little longer, but in some ways that's actually a good thing because uh, they, it means that I've had a lot more chance to work with Willow. Um, I clearly don't want my farrier getting injured at all. Um, so I'm going to go around and do the next front one. Come on, I know. You know how this goes, huh? Good girl. Good girl. I like to sort of, you know, use the chain a little bit just to, to pick those feet up, but let's see. Go. So, oh gosh, let me get this way. Um, just so that we can sit just throughout all the horses. Um, also, also to um, also to to differentiate from when I want them to pick their feet up from when I actually want them to um, uh, I want them to do something else. Um, so good girl. All right. So you can see she's got really good with the front one. Um, I'm going to do the back one. So I'm going to turn her just to the side a little bit. Come here, hand. Let her 
and know that I am not going to hurt it. Maybe you need to go because you're not. I did get a microphone and then couldn't get the damn thing to work with my phone, so um yeah, I'm just gonna stay with her when she does this because it's uh good. And then when she stops I'm just gonna go down and oh yeah. And I don't know whether you can see this now, of course, because you might be able to hang yourself, but she is um just letting me out and this or if you saw the other ones, this was she would not let this happen. So, and then we're going to use the other one, the other side. At this point, I'm not even trying to. Um, yeah, I'm not even trying to be pretty bad. So, I'm not even trying to uh, pick the food out. Uh, I'm literally just trying to uh, get her so comfortable and know that. I'm not going to hurt. I don't know what happens with her. She needs to know what day it is. Um, I don't know what happens with her, with her, with her back feet. And she could be stomach nothing. I don't know. But either way, I don't mind her getting it myself and anybody else. with the fact that she um, is she wants to come in or not no um, that she is not going to actually uh, kick out at me she could um, but certainly she hasn't done I've been the only person working with her which I think is actually a good idea because we all <laughs> we all need to uh, to be working on the same page so uh, so that's it this week. Um, I'm hoping that next week we'll be even further along. Um, the farrier does come out on uh, the 4th, which I know is a holiday, but he's catch or if they catch up. Um, I'm probably not going to have him do a back feet because I want still that whole, with, you know, with me um, just doing this softy softy approach. So uh, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, it's quite important for us as a non-profit because the more subscribers we get the more we can perhaps monetize our, our site and that way we get money for the rescue and for horses like her who have uh, uh, the system has completely failed her um and you know obviously we want to we want to change her life and see if we can get a horse that is is uh is safe uh, uh, you know for, for for everyone not just for me so once again, please subscribe and thank you all so much.